Okay, so welcome to another episode of the essential FPV tools that I think you need in this hobby. So what we're checking out today is basically this is a LiPo checker and is manufactured by ISDT and it's called Battery Go and Battery Go BG 8S. So BG supports up to 8S from 2S to 8S. So you will be able to check your battery voltage from 2S to 8S. Yeah, by the looks of it, you know that this has been heavily used and you can see that I actually use this a lot like literally it's always in my backpack when I go out it's such a convenient tool it does cost about $30 so yeah it's quite a pricey but in today's world $30 probably it's just about two meals of fast food or whatever besides being just a lipo checker the bgas also has additional functions which is I, I i don't use them a lot but it's right there if in case you need them so the first thing is going to be balance function that you will be able to balance your cell each cell to a certain value in particular in your four cell battery if one cell is lower than the other the, the charger this thing is going to basically try to balance them so they become the same value and also you will be able to use this as a field charger for your gopro for your iphone you can plug in the xd60 battery into it and it's going to output five volt uh, current out here and basically you plug it to your gopro plug it to your phone with the usb c cable and then it's going to charge them and the last function is a function that i never use it's supposed to detect the radio frequency or something like the rx signal but i just rarely rarely use it but the option is going to be right there in case you need it all right so let's just jump right into the demo section okay so the first function that we're going to be looking at it's obviously going to be checking the voltage of your lipos so basically you just have to plug in the balance lead into the checker and it's going to activate the screen is going to be powered on and you can see each cell voltage in each cell so you can see that this one is on balance so later on we can use this battery to also balance i'll try to see how the balance function works. I'm gonna record it in the video. Okay, so yeah, it's just so convenient. You can plug in up to, from 2S up to 8S. So as, just make sure that you plug in in this sequence so it can read it. And if there's a particular cell that is lower in a certain amount, like I think I set it up as 3.2 or something. If it's lower than that, it's basically going to beep on you and it's going to warn you that there is going to be a, a normal voltage. So you can see that this is a 2S battery plug in the same thing. You basically see the value right here. So the next thing, let's review the menu section. So this is the thing that I often just don't go read because I often, I often forget I have these functions. So if you want to go into the menu of the charger, what you have to do is basically pressing the middle button right here. Short press it and it's going to bring you into the, the menu. So you can use this up and down to select vertically. And you can see that basically this is where you set up your language. You can set up your backlight, how bright you want it, volume, like basically the clicking sound. You can remove it if you don't want it. So the receiver tester, this is the thing I was saying that I never use. So the alarm tone, repeat, battery type. This one particular is high volt battery, so it's correct. Low voltage alarm, so basically the beat. So if I plug it in and if one of one cell or multiple cells has lower voltage like this it's going to start beeping so usb charge this is where you enable usb charge cell balance is also where you enable cell balance all right let's go back and let's demo the usb charge function we're going to bring out a 6s lipo and i think you will only be able to use up to 6s 8s you don't i don't think you should be able to use 8s for charging stuff as the charger only supports up to 8s so what you have to do plug in everything in here you could just plug it in the xd60 but plugging in the balance lead should make it go a little bit more accurate okay so generally yeah this is just going to be used as a emergency charger i don't use it that often but in case you need to charge your gopro on the go you could do that so after you plug in that you basically plug in the usb a cable right here and another side is a usb c and it goes to your gopro or your phone or whatever and then you basically press the middle button and you have to enable the usb charge you just have to press start Okay, it's going to have a little fan that is actually blowing in there. So 
it's you know kind of you kind of know that it's actually going so you can also use this function to discharge your battery if you want so you can see that uh let me see it is charging our gopro and if you wanted to turn it off you have to always come back to the menu and press stop or you can just unplug it but i don't think that's a better that's a good way all right so done with this the next thing we're going to do as you can see the previous lipo that was demoing has a unbalanced cell that we can basically plug it in and i'm going to see how long it takes to actually balance and how the methods it will balance I, if i remember correctly basically it's going to i think it's going to discharge these three these threes are going to be red and it's going to i don't know i don't know how it works i don't know if they if they just discharge these three particularly or they actually move currents into the fourth so let's give it a try to see how it actually works okay so i'm basically just going to put it on here with the gopro to record how long it's actually going to take so i can actually have my phone when i'm doing it so we're just going to depress the cell balance thing and it's just hit start okay let's see how long it takes to make sure it balances <music> Okay, so let's see. After an hour and 10 minutes, basically we are able to drop the difference to about 10 milliwatts. So, millivolts actually, 10 millivolts. So I think it's actually pretty not bad already. Like you can see that the previous number was a lot higher, but it is now kind of like close to it. If we keep dropping it, we probably potential could get a little bit closer, but since I have to go up, so I have to just pause it, but, you, but at least I know it works. But I doubt I'm actually going to use this because like if you have a charger already you can just use your charger to do that and it's going to be done like much quicker because it's like actively charging or discharging stuff and it's this is just a, such a small little item to get the battery balance charge to work anyway so let's just go back if you wanted to stop it you have to come here to stop and we're just going to just stop it so yeah I'm okay with this this is not bad already I think it's much better compared to the previous state the last function is the receiver tester. I personally just don't use it, but if you're interested of using it, I'm just gonna leave a link below so you can view other people's tutorial as of how to use it. But I'm personally not a user, so I don't think I'm gonna be the best person to teach you. So if you need the function, you know it's right here. But mainly, obviously, I use this mainly just to plug in to see how much LiPo, I, how much battery I have. The rest of the functions, I normally just don't pay attention to it and wasn't using it anyway so that's about for this video and if you have additional questions feel free to leave it down below and i will see you in the next video bye for now